We have been getting calls all night long generated by the bright lights in the central Ohio sky. Angela Pace and Doug Adair, the Columbus Chill has another sellout crowd. We have highlights of the state football playoff. You're watching WCMH4 Columbus. This is News 4 at 11 from the News Channel in Central Ohio. Good evening, everyone. The uh, poet Robert Service wrote that the Northern Lights have seen queer sights, but if those lights could have seen all of the phone callers tonight, hundreds of calls to our newsroom. A multicolored display, the Aurora Borealis. Callers calling to ask what it was. Weather stations as far away as Ontario, Canada, and northern New York saw the most vivid white, red, yellow, and green bands overhead. And these are pictures taken by Dan Lanbow of Hilliard. And Jim Ganahl, why so bright tonight? I expect because the air is very dry. We have a large bubble of high pressure here, and so the stars are more readily seen, and so are the northern lights. Unfortunately, we really can't predict when they're going to occur. The uh, flares that occur on the sun when these particles reach our atmosphere are pretty vivid. And our map tonight will show you that the extent of them really was from Texas north to upstate New York and back into Minnesota. There we go. And I suspect that people in the western and southeastern United States would have seen them there, too, if the sky would have been clear. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Jim. You're and welcome. Jim will have more later on in the newscast. More now of Dan Lanbow's pictures. He'd been offered thousands and thousands of dollars by the other television station in Columbus, but he says it's only news for Well, I think it's it. remarkable that he shot these pictures at 7.30, went and got them developed, and got them down here in time to get them on the air. They usually don't appear this vivid in the sky, but you can even see the stars vivid behind here, too. So just goes to show you that it was a very clear night with the air very dry. We ought to pay for the developing anyway. And the frostbite <laughs> charges he's probably going to sue us with after. And how about gas and mileage? You know, Hilliard's not just around oh, the corner. No, well, wow. well, we don't want to go We're too far. Big <laughs> trouble, <aren't we? laughs> Outside, it is a uh, chilly one tonight. Is that ever an understatement? It's 24 degrees. Look at the barometer, 30.48 and rising. That's at a January level, but then again, uh, these are January-like temperatures. Again, the northern lights were very vivid tonight, all the way from Texas to upstate New York and back to Minnesota. Again, we have storms out here and here. That's why the northern lights were not visible in those parts of the country.